So that's the bottom of the ocean. I say we put one of those in the saltwater pond. Oh, hang on. Oh my gosh, look coming straight up off the bottom. Wow, <laughs> I'm swimming in jellyfish infested water. Look at that. Wow, dude, look at that. The sea creatures are here. Oh my gosh. Go. Oh, oh, oh. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, after months and months and months of not only building this 4,000 gallon saltwater pond, is finally the day that we get stuff for it. Now, obviously we're not starting off with sharks, eels, and stuff that we plan to get in the future, but we are getting some sea creatures for the pond today. Yesterday, I went fishing, and I was trying to get an idea of what we wanted fish-wise for this. So we went all the way out into the deep sea, 300 feet down, and toss some lines to get an idea what we could possibly make a trip and catch for this pond one day. Here, so that way. He's got them on. Your arm getting tired? Yeah. <laughs> How deep are we right now? 300 feet. 300 feet you're reeling up. That's a lot of reeling. There we go. So it's a little wow. black fin snapper. Black fin snapper? Yes, sir. That is sweet. <laughs> now, is that one, that one you can eat? Perfect. Yeah. Good job, V. Boom. Dinner. Oh! On the flat line. She's singing. Chip, I'm going to put the camera down. On this. Off one rod into the next rod. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's the shark that came up? And it, it could be the shark. Yeah, be. What do you think you got, V? Shark. Shark? You can feel the head shakes? Yeah, just now. Yeah. We're about to find out. It's right here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> hey, that's for the them. pond right there. <laughs> if you look at them close, you can almost see where they get their name. Sure oh, yeah. Like yeah, literally. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. oh boy. Silky. Silky shark. And they indeed are silky looking. And there he goes. See ya, buddy. Whatever that is. Nice oh, oh, yeah. Ask Mikey what he can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There. Look good. There you go. Get him in, get him in, get him in, get him in, get him in. <laughs> Barely hooked. Look at how pretty that is. I say we put one of those in the saltwater pond. <laughs> we'll have to come out here and dedicate a trip. And this is the rig we're using, guys. It's called the chicken rig. Just has a little bit of mono going down and then hooks come off the side of it as it comes down. So you can see we have three hooks and at the very bottom is a lead right there. 12 ounce. You can put anything you want on this. We're using, you know, squid and pilchards. Got them on, boys and girls. Got them on. 300 feet of water. Can you imagine these fish are 300 feet down into the ocean? Here we go. Yellow eyes, black eyes. Yeah. Nah. And there's the other one. Little one. Black fish. Smaller. Another one on. This is like a uh, back to back to back to back to back. Every drop these fish are just eating. 302 feet. And then it looks like this. So that's the bottom of the ocean. And you'll see these little specks and dots throughout here. Look at that shark right there. Coming right behind the boat. That's a big one. There's V's fish coming up right here. And the shark is somewhere back here. We don't, oh there it is, it's right here. Boom. Black fin snapper. Black fin snapper. Right. Another fish on. Cool. Just got to keep go. away from the tax collectors. Yep. Go. The government. Go. The government. <laughs> AKA sharks for any of you that were curious what I was talking about. Okay. Oh. And the tax collector got us. Look at the cruise ship. Oh my gosh, look coming straight up off the bottom. At the dock here, the marina, there's tarpon all over the place. And we're throwing the leftover baits from the fishing trip into the water and just to watch them come straight up. Look at that one. I, mean, I can't believe the filet is still sinking and hasn't been eaten yet. Oh, as I said it, it almost just got ate. And it's, oh. Now he's it. He's circling it. There it is, he ate it. Now after the fishing, I attempted to snorkel. 
But the snorkeling, well, it didn't go as planned, let's just say that. And here's why. <laughs> We're here at the good old bridge. Every time we go snorkeling, this spot is usually loaded with fish. Unfortunately, right now it is low tide. At about six o'clock, the tide's gonna go back to high tide, which means all that water is coming in from the ocean and it'll make this clear. It is outgoing, coming out from the rivers right now, so it's a little bit more dark. As you can see, tide is usually all the way up to here. I lost a lot of water. I got goggles though. We're gonna hop in and see what we can find. I do have to be extremely careful right now though because there's a lot of jellyfish. That's a jellyfish beached up on the beach. If you look real closely, you just walk in just a couple of seconds, you'll find another jellyfish. I definitely don't want to get stung. So we're gonna try to prevent that. But if it happens, it happens. Wow, <laughs> I'm swimming in jellyfish infested water. Look at that. Oh my God, there's another one coming. This is crazy. Maybe I shouldn't be snorkeling right now. I was trying to get in the water, I really am, but this is insane. Look at the size of that. Like you do not want to get touched by that right there. Unfortunately, there's another one right there. Oh my gosh. I guess today's a sea creature video, so it definitely fits the vibe. But I went out like 10 feet, almost got stung 10 times. This place is absolutely bombarded with jellyfish right now. Definitely not the time to snorkel, that's for sure. Um, and it's a little dirty. While jellyfish are coming at you full speed, it's not something you want to be swimming in. So we're going to pack up here and we're going to head over to the aquarium shop where so a lot of the cool sea creatures we probably would have found here at the bridge in store. Let's go check it out. We made it. Aquarium shop. Y'all know this place very well. Andy's. We just came into Andy's shop, and uh, as you can see, this place is always absolutely loaded with fish. There's a lot of fish. Today, we're actually not looking for fish, though. We're not quite ready for that inside of this pond yet. But what we are ready for is some sea creatures. Look at the cleaner shrimp. We got some cleaner shrimp. Look at them. Ready? <laughs> it took all day for me to get up to the top of the glass. You're gonna drop me like that? Sea urchins. If you look real closely, they actually have like little feelers that come out. The little black dots. Unfortunately, the goal for today was to get like 100 Mexican turbo snails. That's not gonna happen because right now, this time of year, it's so hot outside that they don't ship them because they'll literally melt. That's what Andy said. That's a blood shrimp right there. Really, really cool blood shrimp. The problem with the shrimp is we can get them, but once we get fish that could quite possibly eat shrimp, they probably won't last too long. Now they'll hide in the rocks and they might avoid it for the most part. As long as I keep my fish well fed, to be honest, they won't mess with them because I do have some fish that would love shrimp in my aquarium. They never mess with the cleaner shrimp I got in there. So as long as you keep your fish fed, they shouldn't bother them too much, but those shrimp could be candy, Tommy. Oh yeah, we're in the right spot. And, and somehow I just walk in and this guy's Hey guys, in there. Uh, I'm exhausted here. if you guys couldn't tell what I look like right <laughs> now. Geo just had a kid. Yeah, Geo just had a literal child. You'll see that video soon actually. That's so, so crazy bro, congratulations. Crazy, dude, thank you, man. All right, we're getting a- dude, you're not a, doing any coral in the, in the big pond, dude. You can do like a, a really cool angel like that one. I know, yeah. that's what I was saying. We, don't, we aren't doing coral in this pond, like live coral. We're gonna do artificial coral just because Lighting, maintenance wise, no live coral in this. We're popping a bunch of snails off right now. Yep, lots of snails. Over a hundred of these small ones will be in the pond. And once we get Mexican turbo snails, we'll get even more. But a hundred in there is literally like you couldn't even see them type stuff. But like Gio was saying over here, there's angels. Like, Look at that, dude. It doesn't get better than that. Now, Look at that. The crazy thing is, is if I'm not mistaken. That's the emperor, dude. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's, that's the one. I like them like this better. So that's the small version of Mr. Guy hiding behind here. Well, there's actually a lot, and like we were talking about the topic of having artificial coral, we can get stuff like that because they can't eat anything in there. So we'll definitely be getting really cool tangs. Oh, wow. fine. You yep. have nothing that could eat anything in there, so. I know. It is awesome. Until I get a monster grouper or a shark or something. This flame angel, if he wants to show himself, my goodness, that is a beautiful fish. Flame angel. 70 snails so far. Look at them all. Oh go. yeah. A hundred snails. All right, hermits. We need some hermits. Bunch of little hermits. 
So we got a bunch of little hermit crabs as well. So not only 100 snails, smaller snails, but hermit crabs Andy just grabbed. And then over here, Noah's grabbing some more of those bigger tropical snails, the bigger ones. Oh yeah, How many like these that. You want? Nice, as many as you can find, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Emerald crabs, sweet. That's awesome, they're really, really tiny. They'll be able to hide great. Especially up in the mangroves. I got mangroves in there. In here, if you look real closely, there's some, some red hermits. See them? Not only are we gonna get the others, but we're gonna get these as well. So we're loading down on some hermit crabs. This is a sea creature video, I'm telling you. We're buying all sorts of different critter creatures. We could put Geo in the tank. That's one hell of a creature right there. See? Look at all the emerald crabs. That is crazy. That's gonna be the coolest thing to release. We got some hermits over here. Some more hermits. Andy, can I get this for the saltwater pond? Perfect. Right? Right. How much for it? I'll, I'll, I'll give you uh, six V bucks. Dude, that is fire, dude. It is so I fire, want that dude. so bad. I live in the perfect area for that too. Yeah, we could just rip around. Why, huh? why haven't you gotten one, dude? I don't know. Oh, like nice, cool, like, I should get a dirt bike. Load it up so you I'm just scared to hurt myself. <laughs> Check all these guys out. These are small though. We got big baby mama over here. This is big baby mama. That is a mean one right there. Will I regret getting that once I go snorkeling with the fish? I think it just makes it even more entertaining when I'm swimming with everything. Don't get pricked by the sea urchin. Andy, I got my next purchase. <laughs> so how do you get that out? Do I have to grab it? You have to grab it. Or you have to grab it. Well, you have to grab it. You want it. Snap. You All grab right. it, it's free. If I grab it, it's free. <laughs> Body. So you gotta go from underneath. Go underneath. Oh goodness gracious, dude! He's gonna prick the. Sh I'm gonna grab him by one little piece. I gotta go like this, and then essentially let it fall down into my hand. Right. Ooh. Wow, dude! Look, look at, at that. that. Oh my gosh! People eat those, dude. I know. What is his name? What's his name, Andy? Uni. Uni! <laughs> Uni! That's what they call it. <laughs> Alright. I gotta get your little mesh net. Keep that. Oh, there we go. Look at that thing in the bucket. It looks so trippy looking. I got it for free! You can still charge me if you want. Oh, thanks man. Appreciate that. Yes! Big urchin. We got a whole bunch of creatures. And one big creature. Now, finally, it's time to go home and get all of this into our saltwater pond. I could say that now, saltwater pond, crazy. Let's go. We are back home at the 4,000 gallon saltwater pond. This has been a long awaiting moment for all of us. I can't wait. The sea creatures are here, this is epic. This has got to be the coolest thing we've got. Go in the comments down below and drop a name for our massive sea urchin. I'm sure we're gonna see him pretty often through these crystal clear glass panels right here. It's so clear in this pond, it's ridiculous. I do need to scrub the glass a little bit, it gets dirty. Our mangrove, is. this is a six year old plant, so as you can see, we're not gonna see much growth, at least right now, but the plan is to most definitely get some more in the back over there. If you look real closely up top, I have a plant light up there now. I just gotta get the extension cord and plug that in, and then they'll be able to just thrive in here. Let's lay everything out on top, actually. Let's get the crabs. We have our bigger tropical snails here. These are the larger ones. What's in this bag here? Let's see. This is a little tiny baby, like blue clawed hermits and a couple other different kinds of hermit crabs. Right here is all of our red hermit crabs. These are freaking awesome. Look at the colors, bright, bright red. You know you're gonna be able to see those guys just walking around. And over here we have like a hundred small like micro snails. These are definitely not micro, but they're, they're dang small. They're like a fingernail big. Now I had to wait a couple weeks of this pond just consistently flowing, creating algae. As you can see, there's a little green coat at the bottom, and that is exactly what all these guys are gonna help us clean up. Now I'm gonna have to touch this guy again. Oh, look at him, look at him move around because he senses I'm in the water, see that? I don't know what's worse, that or a jellyfish. What would you rather get stung or bit by, whatever they do? Going snorkeling, almost getting stung by a gajillion jellyfish. They're everywhere right now. Not only that, also did a little bit of fishing in Miami offshore with our good friend V. Caught stuff that would be potentially really, really cool to put in here, but I need your opinion, so let me know on that. And now to the invertebrates going into the tank. Smash the like button if you're enjoying today's video so far. Let's put 100 snails into the pot. Just got a handful of snails, look at that.
And all these snails will make their way around the pond, obviously on their own. That's a whole lot of snails. They're just sitting there on the bottom, just chilling, you know? I think we'll top that off with a bunch of the larger snails here. Let's get these big snails in now. Look at the size of these. Some of these snails are huge. See that? All right, see you later. There's so much more red, I just wish the camera would pick it up. All right, you can see red. You can see them? So bad, bro. Those are literally the coolest hermit crabs I've ever seen. We've got to get one of these things to crawl. Get a focus on it? Mm -hmm. Check that out. Hermits going in. It's just a giant pile of a bunch of snails and hermit crabs down there. Now, I don't know how many of these are actually housed with snails, but there is a lot of snails. Yeah. Oh, that was easily like 50 snails right there. Now, I know these crabs right here are going to absolutely love the mangrove. They're going to be climbing all up over the mangrove, sitting in the soil of the mangrove. This is one of the coolest things we got today, other than the sea urchin, of course. Let's get these guys in. This is the first, like, I guess everything's, oh, he's biting me. He's pinching me. Go, oh, go down, ow, ah, dude, that one's just, ah, that one does not want to let go. All right, see you guys. So all the hermit crabs and snails are down there in the corner. They're just kind of bunched up, but that gives you perspective. That's like 150 different invertebrates right there. And the pond is still completely massive. So we're definitely gonna need to get some more turbo snails. Mexican turbo snails to be exact, because they're bigger and they'll grow big. Over here is the few crabs that we just put in. If you look from here, you can see them actually. But now it's officially time to get our sea urchin into the pond. And I gotta try to grab him again. This is the worst part. He's moving them around like he wants to mess me up. I just ran inside to get an extra battery. And uh, I just wanted to show the footage on here so you guys can get a nice laugh. We got an extra battery, that's good. Now we can keep filming. I gotta try to get one of the little things to pull him off the wall. Look at him spin him around trying to grab me. Oh my gosh. Here I go. Oh, 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 oh! He injected that son of a right into my fucking finger. Oh, that's, dude, that hurts. I've never been injected by one of those. Is that poison? Bleeding. You're dead. Oh, I just sucked it up. If that's poison, I'm dead. You're dead. Wow, dude, I'm like okay, wait, I'm tweaking about that. I'm not touching it. this thing again. I'm not touching this thing again. Here we go. Oh, the coolest thing in the pond. Makes me never want to swim in here again. Yeah! He walks like, uh, actually really quickly. He went from all the way over there to all the way over here already. Look at him move. That's crazy. He's just kind of walking the bottom. He's going to go up on that rock, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. All of our invertebrates, and I'm just gonna say sea creatures, it's so much cooler of a word, or words, are inside the pond. I had a time lapse rolling on them a little bit, and as you can see, they moved a good amount, but not as much as they will move in the next few hours. The sea urchin has found a hole in the rock right here that it loves to just sit in, which is perfect. He's probably gonna chill there for the most part. I feel like we, uh, Proved a lot of people wrong with this pond right here. People, hey, it's a cardboard box holding salt water. It's gonna break. Rob, rob. For the most part, 99.9% .9 of you were supportive and I appreciate all the support throughout this entire project. I know you guys are just as excited as I am to get fish and stuff for this pond. It's coming soon, I promise. I just wanna take my time. We're gonna do this the right way. Sure, we'll run into issues. That's just part of it. But to start the pond off, Got some invertebrates. And all these little things can start running around the pond now. It's gonna look so awesome. You can see a couple of the snails have actually made their way up and under this rock. Oh, there's a crab on the rock too. All in all, what an absolute jam-packed action day. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button for me, please. Go down below, click the subscribe button and make sure your bell is on so you're notified every time I upload a new banger. And I hope to see you right back here in the very next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.